Welcome, Bills Mafia. Well, I saw the weather report. They're supposed to get like six and a half feet of snow. This is not exactly the game you want Josh Allen to get back on his track with. Especially with this idiot coach who refuses to run the ball. You need to run the ball. What scares me is the Browns are known for running the ball, which means they're probably not going to pass a whole lot and run right over them. So this is in a bad situation for the Bills. If the Bills were smart, they would cancel the game and relocate and put it on Monday somewhere. They've done it about, I don't know, eight or nine years ago. They went to Detroit because the blizzard was so bad. They, they're going to have no choice there because Josh Allen is not going to have a good day. I mean, I don't, I don't think he'll have a problem throwing the ball, but the receivers, it's tough to catch that ball in those conditions when it's, stuff is getting in your face. So to, for him to get back on track, this is not the game. And this is why I'm on Sean McDermott so much. Because a guy refuses, freaking refuses to run the ball. And when he's asked about running the ball, it's the same old crap. we got to wait to the flow of the game, see how the flow of the game goes. In other words, during the week, they never ha put a game plan together about running the ball. That tells me they don't even think about it. I mean, this is a problem when you have a superstar quarterback like a Josh Allen. This is why they don't win Super Bowls generally. They forget about the run. They just want to pass it. just always want to put on the... The quarterback's shoulder. The same thing happened to Dan Marino. They had no running game, and they, never, and they never really worked on his defense. Yeah, he went to one Super Bowl, but that was it. John Elway, he lost three in a row when he went. Then later on, towards the end of his career, they got Terrell Davis. Then he won back-to-back -back championships. It's proven time and time again, you need to balance out the offense. I could tell that Josh Allen's getting tired out there. He even admitted on the past offseason he didn't do a whole lot because his body was so beat up. I'm sorry, when you're, when you're dropping back 45 times a game, and they say, yeah, but some people say, well, it's on instinct. I get all that, but why is he dropping back 45 times a game is the question. He's got 37 pass attempts averagely, and he drops back around roughly about 45 because eight of them he runs. So, so when you have a quarterback that drops back 45 times a game every freaking game, it's not good. And people saying, oh, you know, this and that. And you, you can hear a whole lot of things if he has another bad game. Oh, he's overrated, overpaid. Yeah, give me a break. Patrick Mahomes went through the same crap, too, when they spotted. It wasn't that long ago. Even the Kansas City Chiefs says, relax, Bills fans. What are you, nuts? The quarterback's a great quarterback. Because the same thing happened to Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, they, they were Chiefs fans. I remember last year. And the year they won the Super Bowl. He, you know, he was out three games, but he didn't put up 55 touchdowns like he did a year earlier. He put up 29 touchdowns. So give me a break. They're, they're both great quarterbacks. Like I said, after the season, the Bills are going to have to make a decision whether they should keep Sean McDermott or not. Because I think they should let him go. But what scares me is, are they going to bring in another head coach that's going to just want to pass all the time? Are they going to bring in a head coach that says, we want a, a head coach that wants to run the ball more? But anyways, those are just my thoughts. Please leave your comments. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell so you know when my videos are coming out. And please, Bills, pull this one out.